Adobe Illustrator is used for vector drawing, which means you use it to create shapes and different types of paths. In this video, you'll find out what a vector path is made of by using different tools to explore paths in this project file. You can open this practice file if you want to follow along. Start by selecting the selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and come out to the artwork and click right on this line to select it. This is a straight path. Paths are composed of anchor points at the start and end of a simple path with a path or line segment connecting those anchor points. In a path like this, the anchor points control the length and direction of the path. Now let's look at a curved path like you see here. Select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across this path to zoom in. Then select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click right on the curved path above the line. When you select a path with the selection tool, a bounding box surrounds the path, allowing you to resize, rotate, and transform the path as a whole. If you don't see this bounding box, choose View, Show Bounding Box to turn them on. Try dragging a corner of the box to see how it reshapes the path. In the Properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see the properties of the selected path. Notice that there's a stroke applied to this path, but no fill. Click the fill color, make sure the swatches option is selected, and then select a color. I'll select this blue. Notice that the stroke doesn't completely surround the fill. This path is called an open path because the anchor points on the ends of the path are not connected. Now to remove that color fill, choose Edit, Undo Apply Swatch. If you want to edit a path by adjusting the curve, for instance, you would edit the anchor points. To see the anchor points that control this path, select the Direct Selection tool in the Tools panel on the left. The Direct Selection tool can be used to adjust the path and the individual anchor points. This can give you control over the shape of the path after you've created it. Move the pointer over the top anchor point of the curve. When you see the word Anchor, click to select the anchor point. You should see these lines coming from the anchor point now. These are called direction handles or control handles. Any anchor point you create can have these handles and they can be used to curve a path and control the shape of that curve. Try dragging the end of a handle and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. The last type of path you'll look at are shapes. A shape, like a circle or a square, is a closed path since the starting and ending points of the path are the same. In other words, all the anchor points are connected one to another in this shape. With the Direct Selection tool selected, click the edge of this circle shape to select it. You should see four anchor points that control the curve of the path. Move the pointer over one of the anchor points and then click to select it. You'll see the direction handles that control the curve. Try dragging this anchor point to move it. Then drag the end of a direction handle and you'll see that the curve of the path changes. There are a lot of paths and shapes you can create in Illustrator and all of them are made up of anchor points, paths, and when necessary, direction handles to create a curve. Understanding what paths are composed of is a great first step to creating and editing your own artwork in Illustrator.